Hey, this is your host Dan once again. Here's another project we got completed. We couldn't really film it due to being in the attic and all the other stuff, but we got this done. Um, it's the bathroom vent. It's that smaller little vent that's away from the exterior of the house. There's two of them right there. The other one that's closer to the house is for the vent for the range hood in the kitchen. The bathroom vent, which is this guy right here, this is vented under the soffit. This is a big no-no because, well, this should go out through the roof, but if you follow along the soffit, right there is an air intake for the attic. So a couple of years ago, when I painted the underside of the soffit, in between the vent and that intake right there, all this paint was severely blistered off and I kind of wondered why but I just painted over it and you know didn't really think to be an investigator of why that was happening so what's what the issue here is all that moist air from the bathroom vent is coming out it's running along the soffit and it's getting sucked right in there through that vent it's about the same equivalent as me just venting the bathroom fan right into the attic itself. Underneath on the attic decking, the roof decking, I could see like some black, kind of like a moldy mildew uh, coming up from where this vent area was, almost in a fanned direction on the underside of the direct, uh, the underside of the decking. So I think this was a problem that was going on for quite, quite some time. We had a roof leak in this section of the roof which I had a roofer come out and replace a section. But she seemed to do a pretty good job of getting that replaced, stop the leak. But I kind of wish he would have mentioned to me about the bathroom vent being uh, vented out under the soffit right here. So after I found this out that soffit venting for a bathroom fan is a giant no-no, I called the roofer back and I had him put that vent in, that little black vent that's popping up there on the roof. So I probably could have popped that in myself, but since that's over the repaired area that he just did, I didn't want to put something in and create a leak. And then he comes back and says, well, who did this? So his work's on top of his work. That's why I had him put in the vent up in the roof. And then uh, my job was to, instead of having the vent go out this little hole right here under the soffit, was going to be to reroute the tubing coming off the bathroom fan up to the roof area. So outside here, I undid the screws for that vent, but it's like wedged in there. And I think the bigger vent would have to come out. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, someday I'll come back and address this and maybe pull off both vents and that way I can get the smaller one off and then uh, put a cover plate over it. But the main concern is, is getting the tube from the bathroom van up to that new roof vent. Okay, I drew this picture, this kind of rudimentary picture here on the garbage bag to give you an idea of what this entailed to get this done on my end of it. So if we can imagine that this is the wall in the bathroom there's a box fan, a metal box fan, that's down from the ceiling, probably about six inches or so, that's mounted in the wall. I went up in the attic with the roofer because we were looking for the tubing coming out of the fan. And we almost couldn't find it at first. My attic's got a lot of blown in insulation. We uh, were moving the insulation around. We found the box. We could tap on it and knock on it and know that the, that was the box for the fan. But we couldn't see the tubing coming out of the fan, the exhaust vent. And uh, as we cleared away more of the insulation, we found that the tubing comes out of the bottom of the box fan. You'd think it would come out of the top, but it comes out of the bottom, bends up on a U, and then it kind of makes a jog and just disappears into the wall. Uh, it disappears into the wall because there's a soffit built in my kitchen uh, around the perimeter where the ceiling meets the wall. And now I know why that's there because that's what this tubing runs through and also the exhaust fan for the range hood. So we found the tubing <clears throat> once we cleared away the insulation. We could see it disappears under the wall. The roofer said to me, he goes, well, how are you going to get to that? 
and I'm thinking, well, let me worry about that. I've had tougher, tougher situations than this. So, but he's like, yeah, but how are you going to get to that? And I'm just, <laughs> I'll figure it out. So, um, the two, my first thought was, and I'm working between two walls here. I'm actually sliding my arm down in between two walls. I've only got six inches of width here and three inches in depth. So this is a very, very small area for me to get my arm in. I can't see what I'm doing. Everything has to be done by feel. So I stuck my arm down there. There's a hose clamp on here. I, I could get it loosened by, by hand. And uh, I actually tightened it back up because what I was gonna do is I was gonna cut the tubing right here and then pull it up, put a coupler on it, and extend the three inch up. Use a, um, um, an adapter to get it to four inch and then run four inch insulated up to the roof vent. So I did do that. I pulled that up um, through, through the gap. And like I said, it's only three inches in depth. So as I was pulling the tube up, the tube would barely fit through it. Uh, we couldn't find a three inch coupler at the store. So I bought some three inch tubing and I said, you know what, I'll just run the entire three inch, pull this tubing out and just put a new three inch on the bottom of the box fan. So that was kind of difficult because I had to undo that um, band clamp to get the old one off, pull the old one out. And when I pulled the old one out, the band clamp fell off the tubing, fell all the way down into the wall, which caused another trip to the store just to get a clamp. But once I got that clamp, I lowered the new tubing into place, bent it up a new U, and like I said, this was this should have been easier. Um, I had to stick almost my whole arm down into the wall here, working blind, trying to get that clamp on the end of the hose, trying to tighten it by hand so that I could get it to just barely snugly fit on the the opening of the exhaust port of the fan. Um, it fell down a couple times. I had to reach down even further, pull it back up, try to tighten it on there again. This was quite the process. Um, once I got it kind of snug, I had to pull my arm back out again without disturbing or hitting this tube because once my arm's in here, I've only got six inches and I'm almost pressed up against the tubing. So I had to be really careful to pull my arm back out, which a couple times I bumped it and it fell off again. I had to put it back on. Once I got it slightly snugged on there, I had to use a tool, 5 16 lower it down pretty much between my fingers, the screwdriver, and then grab the screwdriver in my hand like this and just start slowly tightening that band clamp so I could get it tight. If I pushed it this way, it would start rotating it around and uh, then I wouldn't have any access to tighten it. But that took probably 45 minutes just to get that tube down under here and get the new band clamp fully tightened on there. Like I said, working blind, I've got my arm fully in the wall. There's no room. I can't see what I'm doing. Everything's by feel and I can only use one hand. So once that band clamp got tightened on there, the hose got used like it was before. Um, I brought it up just a little bit above the decking, used a three to four inch increaser, then went from the four inch with insulated duct and ran that all the way up to the vent that's in the roof. Uh, should have been a little bit easier. Like I said, I was hoping that the port was on the top and this tubing was, I could see it up in the top of the attic, then it would have been really simple. But uh, I just wanted to do this to show you how this, how I got this done because I couldn't take the camera up in the attic. There was just way too much dust, way too much fiberglass blowing around to even think of trying to film it. So that got attached, brought it up, with the increaser to the four inch, insulated up over the roof vent, and now we're done. Now we have a proper bathroom vent that uh, exhausts out the top of the roof instead of being under the edge of the soffit, creating me roofing problems that have been going on for decades here in this house. And I think we finally got this solved. So I just wanted to show you a little illustrative purposes of how I got that done. Couldn't actually film it, but I think this will give you the idea of uh, what it took to get it done.